For our next presentation, um, our presenter actually has a lot of fans here. I know that uh, Paul Babcock and Ed Becknell and some others were saying, that's my anti-gravity guy. <laughs> He's the author of uh, Secrets of Anti-Gravity Propulsion, uh, Subquantum Kinetics, Earth Under Fire, Genesis of the Cosmos, Decoding the Message of the Pulsars, Galactic Superwaves and Their Impact on Earth, and is the editor of A Systems View of Man. Um, he's also published many original papers in physics, astronomy, climatology, systems theory, and psychology. Um, he was also, at one point, working with the patent office and was wrongfully terminated. And because of that, he filed a complaint against them because of their uh, uh, discrimination policies and actually had the law changed so that people could not get fired for their scientific beliefs. The uh, uh, presentation you're about to see um, includes a discussion of the sun, uh, the sun cell developed by Blacklight Power Corporation, um, a technology that could one day power, our, uh, power and heat our home. Uh, it can capture energy released from water from the transition of hi the hydrogen atom orbital electrons to subground energy states. Please help me uh, welcome uh, Dr. Paul LeViolet. Thank you. Now he's developed it further, getting much more power. Uh, the sun cell calls it. He strikes a arc between two gears, actually the gears are rotating, and it somehow feeds catalysts in there, generates his reaction, and he's got solar cells all around to capture this energy. It's uh, thousands of times uh, the solar constant there. Um, quantum electrodynamics, wave particle dualism, the collapse of the wave function, Copenhagen interpretation, dark matter, dark energy. Second law of thermodynamics is correct, but if you assume the universe is a closed system, then it's incorrect. And that's what they're assuming. Uh, again, energy conservation law, first law of thermodynamics is challenged. Newton's third law. So a lot of the technologies we deal with violate these things. 7 Kelvin, you're between 2 and 7 kilograms of thrust. And at liquid nitri uh, helium temperatures, you're between 185 and 715 kilograms. Enormous thrust. So uh, this is our plan next is to test this. Looking at the shuttle, most of the weight, 95% is in the rocket. Only 5% in the shuttle payload. With the Nasika's thrusters, like these Lorentz thrusters, you would embed them in the underside of the wing, so you'd be taken off this way.